We want to use the tabulated standard half cell potentials to calculate the standard cell potential for the following reaction occurring in an electrochemical cell at 25 degrees C. Well, it's a redox equation, right, because it mentions half cell. So we need to figure out what are the two half cell potentials. Well, I know that PB has to be connected to PB and CR has to be connected to CR. Over here, this is a plus 2, this is a 0, this is a 0, this is a plus 3. So which one is which? Well, 2 goes down to 0, so there's your reduction. 0 goes up to 3, so there's your oxidation. So we need to write that out. So I've got the oxidation, and from the equation I have 2Cr solid goes to 2Cr3 plus aqueous. Now in order to find it on the table, I need to do what? I need to have equal charges. So I have a 0 on the left and a plus 6 on the right, so I need to add 6 electrons. For the reduction, I'm going to go from 3Pb2 plus is going to go to 3Pb solid. Well, this time I've got a plus 6 on the left and a 0 on the right, so that means I need to add it on the left-hand side. So I'm going to add my six electrons on the left to get 3Pb solid. So now what I can do is I can go and I can look these up on my standard electrode potentials at 25 degrees C table in my book. And when I do that, remember those are written in reduction half reactions. So since they're in reductions, we know that if we find E of the oxidation, that's going to equal to the opposite of the E of the reduction. So when I go on the table and I find the chromium one, it is the opposite of, and for reduction it is negative 0 0.73. For the next one, since it's already reduction, I don't have to do anything except read it off the chart, and when I did that I got minus 0 0.13. So what does that mean that we're going to do? Well, we're going to find it for the cell, that's what it asked for. So I've got E of the cell is going to equal to E of the oxidation plus E of the reduction. Um, some of your teachers may write it this way where you have minus E of the reduction for CR plus E of the reduction for PB. I just want you to make sure that you're customary to seeing either one of these depending on what your instructor needs. So now it's one of those plug and chug games. So I'm going to have the opposite of minus 0 0.73 plus minus 0 0.13. So when I add these two together I'm going to get 0 0.60. And remember we're talking about potential so it's in volts.